everybody, this is Praxis. I'm here in the greenhouse and it's really exciting out here for me because this is the first week, I think maybe it's been a week, week and a half, maybe two weeks, that we've been having gray water coming from this uh, port here into the greenhouse. This uh, is just stuck onto the wall here, it's just a, a two inch pipe with a 90 degree bend in it. Uh, I've got gray water coming out of there. The gray water is being collected from the upstairs bathroom. We are collecting uh, the laundry washing, the sink, and the shower and tub water is all coming through here. The only thing we're not grabbing is the toilet, thankfully. Uh, it uh, all gets uh, plumbed together underneath and it goes through some uh, valves so it can be switched to either go down to the septic system or come out here. At the moment they're both all coming out here. And uh, so far, so good. Uh, if you want to see more about uh, what was going on uh, with that project, because I didn't include it here in this series, uh, it, there were just some technical issues with the camera I'm recording this on. This 360 camera had some problems for a while. It's back in service now, so if you want to check out those old videos, here's a link somewhere on the screen. You can check out, it's a three-part series of me kind of putting all that stuff together. But now it's out here, it's going, and it is really starting to work. I, want, I can feel it in the ground over here. Like over, over in this area, the ground is very, it's very powdered. This is, uh, I don't want to breathe too much of that in, but this is what, that's what the whole place was just covered in. Over there, it's still kind of dry, but... Since the water is coming out here, I've got this trench that goes around this area, and it's filling the trench, and we've got some beans, some pole beans started here. I put some white clover that are going to start as kind of a ground cover everywhere. But even away from the trench, it's coming under the ground, and you can see the soil here is starting to get moist. I can feel it under my feet that this soil feels cool as the moisture is working itself under the ground here, and it's slowly hydrating everything that we've got uh, down here. And it's great because now while we're just you know showering or washing laundry, we're getting double duty out of that and Mother Nature is going to start to move in here. Now to help a lot with that process, uh, I've inoculated some of the soil with compost from outside. So it's like worms and worm eggs and bugs and microbes and all that kind of stuff. Because again, this is what this whole place was full of. It's just this dust, this dead dust that for two, three years, I'm not sure how long it's been, Several years, uh, it's just been getting dry and hot, and you know we had this greenhouse it was like you know 100 plus degrees, you know, so th this was like a dead environment. So now that we have the water coming in, we're bringing in some life. There's already some seeds that are starting to grow in there, and this whole place should start growing in. And it's just, I love the idea of things happening on their own. You know, now while I'm doing other things right now, I'm, I'm working on the chicken coop and I'm doing other projects around the house, but I shower at the end of the day, we brush our teeth, you know, uh, wash up and all that. And we're constantly, without even intending to, now that we have the gray water right here, without even intending to, we are hydrating this area, bringing this area to life while I'm working on other things. And I, I always like that feeling where if you can unlock a project so that you can let mother nature you know, kind of run and start doing her thing. This is all going to be happening in the background. Just to give you a little a bit broader sense of what's going on here, uh, I've got uh, water flows into this big pot. I've got a bunch of charcoal in there. Uh, that's, you know, helps to absorb any chemicals that are coming down. Um, and I'll be adding more charcoal in there. There's only, uh, you know, maybe six inches of charcoal in there. I'll be adding some more in there. But, you know, this thing's going down the, the uh, sink, like toothpaste and, you know, dental rinse and things like that, where, you know, you don't want to directly be watering your plants with it. Uh, but, you know, that, that said, I've used gray water a lot in the past, and as long as you're using, you know, I use a lot of Dr. Bronner soap, uh, that's a very natural Castile soap, you know, so as, you know, as long as you're using stuff that is more along that, those lines, it seems like the plants are fine with it. Mother Nature can handle some of that stuff, and I've never seen any ill effects from it. And the beans, so far, so good. I mean, you know, they could get to be a foot tall, tall and keel over, but I've never seen any problems like that. I'm really excited about this project because this is it, we call it a greenhouse, but up until now, it's been, look behind you, just a place for junk and brown, dusty dirt and whatever. And now we're taking the first steps of making this greenhouse green.